Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Pop and Jocelyn here. Back with another unboxing, and today I have two special kicks for you guys, and they're both from the good folks over at Jordan Brand. So big shout out to them for sending these over. Uh, it comes in the regular Jordan box, as you can see here. Nothing special, nothing crazy, just a little something, something, something. But the shoe inside is, I'm gonna say, one of the breakout shoes of 2020. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you see, it has the regular 23 paper, nothing special there, but when you look inside, yes, yes, yes. This is the Air Jordan 5 Low golf shoe. Uh, it comes with the lace ties, the clear lace ties and the Jordan logo on there, so very nice. But this shoe in particular is one of my favorites of 2020, I think. They're doing some fantastic work, and this shoe is one of the most fun shoes to play in when it comes to the Air Jordan golf line. Uh, the low cut is nearly perfect. The shoe feels great. It has a wide enough base at the forefoot and a wide enough base at the heel to give you that motion when you swing. And then, of course, it looks like a genuine Air Jordan 5 low. They did not skim on the design details of the shoe, they kept it true to what Tinker's vision of the shoe was when they turned it into a golf shoe. A lot of times you'll see brands flip shoes into golf shoes and they don't really keep it true to the original silhouette. So I really like that Jordan brand is doing that with these when it comes to the low. Some details on the shoe. So the upper is all Nubuck, which has its good and it's bad. As far as good, it, again, it keeps it true to the original design, but I'm not sure how well this is going to handle water and dirt and sand and mud. I don't know if they did any waterproofing to this new buck, so you could get away with doing that yourself. Maybe you spray them and put a little protective spray on top of these to help prevent some of that water getting onto the shoe, but again, uh, I'm not sure what that's going to do. So this new buck may not hold up very well when it comes to the water if you play early in the morning. Of course, they have the reflective tongue, which is always super cool. And then the Air Jordan on the inside is flipped upside down. Now, if you're familiar with the Air Jordan line, you know that the Air Jordan 3, 4, and 5 were pretty much built on the same sort of looking midsole, the same technology in the midsole. So you do still have air here, which is nice for that cushioning there. Um, but honestly, I don't really feel it all that much, especially in the old retro shoes and more so on a golf course because the ground is so soft. You have the normal midsole that you get with the Jordan 5, but where things get funny and get funky is on the outsole. Now, a lot of people see these and think, oh, well, can I wear these outside? And my thought is, don't wear these outside of the course. These have cleats on the bottom. This is like a hard rubber, a very hard rubber. I would almost call it, it might even be plastic. And like, you're gonna just slip around all over the place trying to walk on cement and, wear, and wearing these. And even here, this is like a hard plastic as well. Like, you can hear that. It's more like a plate than it is an outsole, and these cleats provide the traction that you need. Now, the benefit of this being so hard is that you get a lot of rigidity, so you get a lot of bounce back. So this is gonna help you in your stance of keeping your base and not letting your foot squiggle around too much and move in the wrong direction. So you have this base giving you that extra foundation that you need when you're swinging or when you're trying to get set up and you have an awkward stance, you have this as a strong base. So again, I, I wouldn't recommend buying these if you plan to wear these outside because that's not really what these are meant for. But you do get the Jordan logo there on the bottom. So you do have that. And I think this base is more for playing and more of a performance thing than it is a casual thing when you have that on the outside. Now, the other thing that I like is that they give you ball markers on these and they put them right there on the lace tie and these come right off. It's very golf specific and uh, it's a nice little touch to add to the legacy of Jordan golf shoes. So this is the Jordan 5. This is the black metallic colorway. This colorway already came out. So I imagine most of you already have seen these and gotten these, but I definitely want to give you guys a look at these because I got them and it's something that I'm definitely going to rock. But the thing that I am the most excited about is this pair right here. I saw, I think these leaked last year and I was instantly like, I, I want these shoes. 
I may even pay resale for these shoes if I have to. Definitely want to get them at retail. And this shoe, I think, is it's it's almost like the perfect mixture of my world of sneakers and golf. And this is the Air Jordan 4 Cement Gray Golf Shoe. And man, is this a beautiful shoe. You obviously, you get the cement print on the midsole. You get it here on the heel. You get it here on the wings as well. But on the upper, it's white and it's leather. Now, again, like I was saying about the fives, this white leather is going to get dirty. But because it's white leather or pleather, maybe, it's going to clean up a lot easier than the Nubuck would just because the Nubuck is textured and it's almost like a fleshy where this is obviously a hard leather so the the water getting on here is just going to roll off on those because it has the hair there the dirt can get trapped there and i think it'll be easier for those to get dirty although those look super slick in the black these are going to be super easy to clean and like that pair i feel like jordan brand kept it pretty true to the style of the shoe for the most part this looks just like a regular air jordan 4 there isn't a lot of difference in the way that this shoe is shaped, in the way that this shoe feels, in the way that this shoe looks. The lines are still there. So they stay pretty true to the silhouette that we all know and love to this day. Now, uh, some things that they did do, so the netting has backing here, so it's not loose. So that's definitely gonna help with the shoes being waterproof, so there's no uh, water or dirt or anything getting inside through the nettings on the side. Uh, the flip side of that is that these are going to be hotter and not as airy as the other shoes. So that's something to consider as well. I don't usually, my feet don't usually get hot when I play golf, but as a sneaker connoisseur, that's something that you just have to think about. Now for those Nike purists, these do not have the Nike Air on the back. They have the Jumpman on the back. Part of the reason for that is because these are not an OG. Obviously, they didn't make Jordan 4 golf shoes back then, so you don't have the Nike Air on the back. You do have the flight on the tongue, so that's a nice detail that you get to explore with these. And then on the outsole, these are a little different than the Fives. So the Fives had like this two sections here and then you had a middle plate you don't have that middle plate section here with these so these have a plate that extends from here right around the toe all the way to the bottom and it's still that hard hard rubber almost plastic rubber but it's slightly different you can see here that they changed up the materials between the two. So you have this plate here in the middle, whereas on this one, it retains that sort of plate, hard plastic rubber all the way through. You get the Jumpman there as opposed to just the Jordan there and then the Jumpman there. And then you also have a little bit, it looks like some midsole material shining through on the bottom here. So you have a touch of red there that you don't get with these. The other detail is at the toe box. So the toe box here, again, that hard plastic, but you actually get some rubber here at the toe. It's translucent rubber, and obviously this is going to be super dirty, but you know, when you do that swing uh, with your back foot, sorry, when you do that swing with your back foot and you end up on, on that toe, this, you're gonna, that rubber is going to hit the dirt uh, when they show that Jumpman logo. And now that I see this, that, that's actually a detail I didn't notice at first. So with the five, if you're making that swing and this foot pops up and you turn around, like you don't really see the Jumpman logo is upside down. But with these, when you make that swing and your foot comes up and you turn around, the Jumpman logo is right side up. So shout out to the Nike design team that thought about that when you're going through with your swing and that foot pops up, that that Jumpman logo is actually gonna show up the right way as opposed to just the word Jordan here on these shoes. This is a small, so like those are the things that I appreciate. When the designers not just turn a shoe into a golf shoe, but they think about the small details that make it all come together. So these should be available. If not right now, they'll be available tomorrow, depending on when you watch this video. They're $220, so there is a premium for the golf version of these retro shoes, which usually costs $190, well actually, Generally, retros are about $200 now, so you do pay a premium for these, so these would be $220. 
Um, if you're into golf or if you're not into golf or if you're just getting into golf, this is something that I definitely recommend. It's a beautiful shoe. I love it. And uh, I love the way that Jordan Brand is exploring the world of golf and really stepping their foot into it and bringing the retro style to life with shoes like these and with these right here. Anyway, I uh, just want to give you guys just a quick look at these. Uh, I'm going to definitely get some hours in in these. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see pictures of these or on Snapchat or wherever it is. If you follow me there, you'll definitely see these pop up because I'm definitely going to put some wear and tear on these and on these as well. Anyway, with that being said, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm Jacques Slade. This is the Jordan 4 and the Jordan 5 golf shoe. Uh, you know where I am with that. I love it. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.